Aloha, YouTube. This is your boy, Crypto Roots and Everything Currency. This is the Elon Marley Podcast, episode 12. Aloha, brother. What's good? What's good? What up, man? How you doing? And shout out to everybody out there listening. Man, I'm, st I'm stony baloney. I got a joint with some hash in it. I got the coin gecko in front of me. I'm ready to just, ready to just talk crypto. Yeah, man, I got the uh, I got the charts right in front of me. I got the coin gecko in front of me, and I got a couple. Uh, you know what I actually got? Um, I went to this thing called the um, the Secret Shatter session, where okay, where they basically right. just have like you know it's like a weed session, but it's basically all these different um, cannabis vendors that got all these different projects. So I'm actually sipping on this. Um, you seen those? those uh cocoa bombs cocoa bombs yeah, no it's like a, no it's, it's like a little ball of chocolate right you put it in the cup okay you okay put milk, you put milk on top of it and as the chocolate melts it turns into like hot chocolate little marshmallows come out you know okay. the kids, kids love them and everything like that but i got me a medicated one from the uh from the session so it's like it's not like a virtual session it's like in person right yeah yeah it's in person okay all right yeah everything's still on lockdown but you know they had the whole covid rules in place and all that crap yeah man I, I, man california I, <laughs> let's not even go there we can we could probably do a whole nother podcast on that if we wanted to yeah yeah um, it's getting crazy you know everybody around the world's feeling it so we don't even have to get into that so um sorry. am i still coming bro? yeah yeah you're good all right, cool. Um, over 20K? Over, over 20K. 20K. What's up? Over 20K, man. Can we so, do it one time to burn man money hands? Over 20K. I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's it's been a long road, bro. Like, it's been a long three, what, three and a half, three something years, bro. Nigga have been homeless. Nigga have been in and out of jobs. Nigga done broke up with girlfriends. Right, right. Like, I, I think about all the shit I've been through through the 20k like valley right like from the mm -hmm. 2017 to the and i'm like yo man like i really made it this far i knew it would happen well you made it damn, we made it you know you you straight up man straight yeah, up like, like it, that's the crazy thing about it like i knew it would happen but like when it happened I, I remember waking up and i'm looking at the chart and i'm just like bro it just blew past 20k like nothing like i didn't even get to see it at 20k you know, it was just at 21 already. I'm like, like, hold up. You know, like, so, I mean, I saw I, it, I, I saw it, but like, I was up early that morning, but just to see it at 20K, I was just like, man, that's crazy. I have mixed feelings though. Okay. And, and. Show them at me. Cause I know, I know there got to be some, some feelings no, for some of the people who've been here for a minute. Well, it's, it, well, that's the feeling is that I'm, I don't want to be a low key hater on the new people. But they just don't know what it is, man. Yeah. And I, I can't hate them because I didn't coach like over 60 some people that just got in the game this year. And they're right. all like, yeah, 20 k 20 k And I look at I'm like, shut your ass. So you don't know what it is. You haven't been, th you haven't <laughs> been through it. They've only been what, like, like, like four or five months now. And they think yeah. they went through some tough shit. Bro. Uh, like, see, we've, been there, get, yeah. we've been there with, you know, we were there. I remember when I first got into the crypto, man, I thought I was the smartest dude on the block. You know what I'm saying? I was arguing with people with my dumb ass ideas and everything. So, you know, like, so uh, yeah, it's it's been a long, long journey, like you said. Uh, it's just crazy to see it sitting here, though. You know, we at 23 right now. Like, I can't, I can't even call you an OG unless you've been through a year bear market. But that's saying that that's like forecasting the future that that's going to be as rough. I don't, I don't know if it'll ever be as rough as we had it. You know, um, because there's so much innovation, so many things, you know, it's the, the yeah. balls, you know, the avalanche balls just building up. So I don't know. We're, we're going to see bear markets. That's for sure. That's for just sure, how yeah. markets work. But to the to the, as for how long will they be? I don't see it being three years long, you know, because that would really just be like crypto is not doing shit. Like if we. Yeah. So there's so much innovation. I just don't see us going through a three year bear market again. So, you know, I mean, I think, um, well, they, they say that the next bear market will be longer. Like this bull market, every bear market and bull market has been longer and longer and longer. You know what I mean? The last bear market lasted about a year and a half. This one lasted about three years, you know, um, give or take. So each bear market, it just gets longer and longer. And that's just how it works. So, I think the next and, bear market will be even 
might be even more difficult because if we pump up more than this and we get to 20k and then we come back down and sit back down at 10 or 20 you know that might be rough. right yeah man if we hit 10 bro that's niggas just pulling out the glocks they putting the mask on bro. <laughs> this shit that i mean it's 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 crypto ghetto, man. Like when that, that shit. And you got been. I have a video. Welcome to the crypto ghetto, man. Because it's, you know, even right now, it looks like we slowly kind of entering. The market's a little bleeding out right now. Yeah. But at the, you know, right, right now, it's not. I mean, like if we were, I don't know. I'm not you know, too I'm concerned. Saying, yeah, but, I'm not too concerned. Yeah, I'm looking at a two percent drop. You will have those times, niggas, is gonna put some mask on, like <laughs> crypto when the crypto just is all done. You know, oh, you got man. extra. You know. We, so, but like, that's how dirty this game can get. It can get all bad, bro. Oh, it can yeah. get all bad. And um, you just got to prepare for those times. But no one's ever prepared for their whole portfolio dropping 60 fucking percent in less right. than a month, right? Like, no one's prepared for that. I mean, so. let's, I mean, let's talk about, I don't know if you remember, but I remember just distinctly, like in the last bull market, when everybody was talking about buy the dip, man, those dips were like 20%. You know, those dips were like 30%. So it was like buy the dip, but it was dipping like 30%. I think, well, of Bro. course, because there's more money, you know, funneling and now that the dips are smaller, but there's more people Bro, in the market. I, but. I don't know if I had a rough, but I was, I was, I was homeless at the time, but I was like hustling money when uh -huh. I was still in crypto and I was taking the money that I was like physically working for physically and uh -huh. I was putting into crypto on every dip and I'm sleeping on the beach thinking this should go up that the whole shit that I put in got wiped out. Right. And I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. So I go do some more physical work, put it in, yeah. getting wiped out. I'm telling you, I can't, I, I'm telling you, I'm so grateful because nigga really done suffer, you know, because I, all the money I was putting in while I was broke was getting wiped away. And I still kept doing it because I believed in this shit, bro. Right. I believed in it. And I knew that one day this shit would turn around. So I've, I've seen, you know, I've, my faith in this crypto game is, and just seeing the 23, 24 K, it, it, it just really, I'm, I'm a devout crypto investor. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm an right. evangelistic, like I'm baptized yeah, yeah. in this shit. Like, you know. <laughs> You're like, hold on, it actually happened? Okay, yeah. I'm seeing Bitcoin prophecy yeah. after prophecy after yeah. prophecy. Be, I, 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 it's happening, you know? so I'm like, wait a minute. So, like, I'm becoming more of a believer after already being a believer. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just like, yo. So I'm, 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 I'm really with the crypto game, you know? Yeah, and for sure. So you, yeah, so um, the track I mean, that's why a lot there. of people have been asking me too. Like, you get into stocks, I'm like, bro, why? Like, all those yeah, stocks are coming yeah. to the blockchain, bro. Yeah, so, bro. Uh, I'm gonna be here when y'all get ready to start funneling y'all money over. That's the thing. Yeah, I got, I got so many mentees signing up. Yo, I got stocks. I got stocks. And I'm like, yo, get rid of that shit. And like, yeah. seriously, I'm like, I'm not, I'm no financial advisor, but get rid of that shit. Right. It's just like, it's you just get rid of it. I mean, right. you know, I got to say, if you Robert really want to diversify, hold like a small percentage, you know what I'm saying? Like, but other than that, like you, the, if you believe in it, the opportunity is right here, you know? It's indeed for all days. Yeah, well, it's like, man, it's only a matter of time before people um, pick up. Yo, you know, so let's, let's segue into this. You know who I'm really, what, what crypto I'm really starting to fuck with? Like, really starting to get a lot of respect for you and i already know people's i already know people's responses what the moment they respond <laughs> then they'll be like bro come on right 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 but then when i ask him yo what is it actually about i'm like bro come on all right so well, hit this, me with this, it hit me with it him i'm really really starting to fuck with chain link bro oh i'm really yeah, starting yeah, to fuck yeah. with see, see oh come on bro right come on yeah. bro and then, oh, I mean, oh yeah, you, you I mean, just you just you just hopped on the train, bro. Well, but, no, no, it's not that I'm buying chain link. I own very little to the only chain link I own is through the DPI, bro. I'll be honest. Right. That's right. the only chain link I own. But I'm actually studying how to be a chain link node. I've been right. installing all the software all day. I've been watching Sergi spit his game nonstop. I'm in, I'm really fucking with it on a developer level, bro. Yeah. On a developer level. And I actually understand what the purpose of Link is for. Uh -huh. That most people have no, most chain link have no idea what Link is for. They really don't. And they'll say just buzzwords, but I'm like, yo, what does that mean? What's the problem? Why would, why would you even need chain link? And it's crickets, bro. Crickets. Yeah, yeah everybody. Right? <laughs> why would you even need chain link? Crickets. All right? And then I'm like, what is Link supposed to be used for? 
uh, other than buying and selling, they have no idea. Yeah. So it's like, yo, like, so that's I mean, that's what most know. coins in the market, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, well, that's why people got to fuck with roots, man. Fuck with roots because I get this shit on the developer level and, you know, how to, because you can make passive income with your chain link node. That's the whole thing. You start your own right. business by setting up a reliable chain link node. The more reliable, mm-hmm. and then you have to go and market your node. You have to go and sell your node. Your node has the most reliable data. It's up oh, damn near all the fucking time. So you got have to go out like fucking um, Will Smith in that fucking pursuit of happiness. You got to go start yeah. knocking on DeFi doors and be like, yo, I got chain link nodes. And they're they're going to be like, why should I fuck with your node? Right. There's other nodes who've been up there longer, who got way more of a reputation. So you got to go and sell your fucking node to DeFi protocols so you can make a little fucking bread. Like it's a whole business you got to start. You got to get into marketing and everything. Right. So you got to not only do DevOps, you got to uh, study smart contracts, you got to study APIs, you got to know branding, marketing, and just for people to use your fucking node so you can make. So, yeah, so everybody, we're back. We lost roots for a minute, but we're back on. But yeah, uh, man, yeah, man. Yeah, where, man. where do we leave off at? Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Bruh, sure. fucking, with, fucking with chain link, setting up a chain link node. Y'all holla at your boy if you want to get in the chain link node game. It's a different ball game. You got to sell your node. You got to let people know you got that reliable data. That's what you got. Yo, yo, I, I got that reliable data. Fuck, yo, if they start fucking with your node, man, that's, that's, that's a lot of link, bro. That's a lot of link. And if link goes, that's, a, that's passive income in link. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm about that life now. I'm about that life. So okay, okay. Get I'm not a the link node marine. Game. I may be a... a <laughs> Yeah, bro. Uh, like keeper bots. I want to, I'm set trying to look at I, I, That's the whole thing. I want to make, I want to set up bots and not just, I, I'm done with trading bots. It's, it's, it's not worth your time and energy, even liquidation bots. Cause there's thing called front running and mm-hmm. front running is a huge, major fucking big deal. in Ethereum, man, trying to front run someone's transaction. It's, it's a real nasty game. Um, so it's like those, it's not even, you waste so much gas trying to get even if you have a perfect plan someone can watch your perfect plan take your shit and front run your transaction before you even you know oh shit that's what they're trying to do okay let me quick let me do it a little bit for them pay more gas right before they do it ah yeah no there's a lot there's a lot easier ways to get paid out here (laughs) yeah yeah bro as complex as you want and that's that's, only at the board but yeah and that's the people who know what they're doing are the ones getting front run so right. uh i tell dude i tell people yo yo roots can you make me a bot can you make yo let me let me let me like do all right here's the thing with bots okay any yeah. kind of money bot money robot mm-hmm. if you just go and start making first of all here's just it bots are in competition with each other so me making you a bot would be direct competition with my bot so we, mm-hmm. i am not incentivized <laughs> to make you a bot Right, people want yo yeah. rules. Can I pay you a bot? Uh, yo, so can you make the money robot make me money? And then, and, uh, yo, that's not enough money, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no. it's like, no, nah, man, like you're what because the bot has to have an edge on the market because it's competing with other bots, right? So, no one's going to give away the golden egg for free. That's what got to tell new people once you once you figure out an arbitrage trade, like once you figure out how, how to consistently make good trades, once you figure out how to do liquid, you don't, you don't give away that golden egg, bro. You don't, unless it's like a lot of money, you don't give up because that's di- whatever, that's direct competition with your money. Right. So that's why you keep, you keep that trading edge. You keep that secret to yourself. And that's, that's what's going to feed you at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, so don't, ex- yeah, people expect everybody. People like, forget, just people forget know, that you know. trading, yeah. people forget that trading is a competition. Like you're competing against every other trader out there. Like you're, you know, you're not yeah, losing money. Bro. You're, I mean, you're not, you know. Money's not just disappearing like other people are winning over you. You know what I'm saying? Like they might be shorting while your price is going down, you know, or something like that. So, yeah, it's definitely, you know. Yeah, these are these, you know, it's a, people people are lazy. I hate I'm not hate to say it, but that, let's just be real. People are lazy. They expect other people to do hard work for them. And, you know, and if it's not enough, they're just going to get mad at them like. And that you, you you know those type of people will never last that long, right. like especially in the crypto game. Expecting other people to 
You know, you can copy people's trades, but you can't copy copy their conviction to make those trades. Right. I think you know? that's one of the most so, attractive things when you first get into crypto. I think that's everybody has that idea. Like when I first got into crypto, I had that idea. I was like, oh man, I need a trading bot. You know, I know there's some somebody or a machine that could trade for me, you know, and I was looking for them and it's like, nah, that never went nowhere. Like, you know, like Yeah. You soon you soon start to wake up. Like after after a while people start waking up like, yo, this is not what I thought it was. I thought it was fucking casino, get rich quick, you know? So it, it takes a while, man. I can't even tell you how many uh, recovery stories I hear from crypto people. Yeah, I was back in it in 2016. I got fucking wrecked, you know? And now I'm was, back. You know, like, yeah, you know, like I can't tell you how many uh, rehabilitation or some fucking crypto story. And I had I had one of my boys who this this guy he he went in tough right around uh, 10k last time and you know the price went from 10k to 20k and then back down really quick and uh, that that man capitulated all his crypto just I'm out man I'm out I'm only doing uh, real estate you know I'm out do yeah that so that's the thing about the bear market. That's why I don't think I don't I don't really respect you unless you've been through a bear market as a crypto trader and investor, because that capitulation part of the uh, the market cycle, that shit is some of the realest shit I've, I've ever right. experienced, bro. Right. It's that, when, when the way I see it is when people people jump off the boat when mm -hmm. they can't take it. That when, when they, no, I'm, I'm I'm jumping off the boat. I'd rather risk swimming in the sharks. Yeah. Like I, I, I can't take it anymore. I'm getting off this ship. Even though I know it's the game. worst decision, yeah, it's like a logical game, like maybe to people sell just, at the bottom, right? Like, I can't handle it no more. Look, I started off with five grand, I got 500. I'd rather yeah, leave with 500. Yeah, like, yeah. me, I'm more like, hmm, let me learn a little bit about market cycles. Is there a chance if I'm gonna get my 5,000 back? You know, let me see, let me learn some real quick before I just pull the plug. And then I'm good thing I was paying attention and learning what capitulation was as it was happening, like, okay. I'm about to be a contrarian right now. Here, here's the thing about capitulation, though. This is the scariest part. This is what I've experienced. That even some of the most, it's not true capitulation until some of the most experienced investors actually capitulate. Yeah. That's what scares everybody else, especially on CT. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. This dude has been in the, he's actually, what? He's You're out, the most what? experienced fucking, like, da 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 and this guy is selling up that you like followed him this you know investors for years and so it's not a true capitulation until some of the most experienced people capitulate bro that's how yeah. you know how dirty this game is well it starts with the bots like we were just talking about bots like the, the bots will because the box hit triggered right something happens there's that there's that uh bearish cross on the macd on the monthly or something you know and those bots see that bearish cross and they say okay we go sell off you get that initial dump and that's when it starts. Everybody's, oh, is it going to come back up? Oh, it's dumping more. More more bots are dumping. Then you get, like you said, one of those big traders and one of those well-known traders say, hey, yeah, I'm selling my Bitcoin for stocks right now or I'm, I'm moving into gold. And that's when you see everybody like, what? Not, what? not even just not even just that. The, some, some of the responses, this fucking shit is a scam, right? The people who've <laughs> had the most wisest words who've been in the game, who are fucking like total, and they just, because their, their, their psychological shit can't take it, and they just, shit is a fucking scam. Right. I'm telling you, that's true capitulation. That's, the, that's how dirty this game is. People you respect it, straight turn on the crypto game at the yeah. bottom. You know, like, you know, like, so you gotta, like, so that's dirty shit, man. It happens. I saw it happen so many times, you know, where, this shit is a fucking scam. It's like, dude, you've been spitting like crypto, you know, like some of the dude. most respect. Yeah, dude, man, anybody. I mean, at this point, I'm just like, I, I watched this thing hit 20 K go down for, if it was a scam, like when we hit around 6 K or 3000, you know, we were at 6 K for months. I would have seen this thing be gone already. If it was a scam, like I seen other cryptos actually be gone and disappear, you know? So, I don't know. Yeah, man. So we're we're now nowhere near that. We're nowhere near that. Right. Um, we're over here. And we're in bullish. We're in bullish sentiment. I would say right now, everyone has this this super bullish sentiment going on. Well, I don't know. It seems like that is kind of changing due to the Stable Act and due to the Non Custodial Wallet Act and 
XRP getting fucking wrapped up. Let's get into that shit now. Oh yeah. Well, see, that's my uh, that's my thing. I'm like, look, I gotta see a little bit of fud. If it's if it's if we're in a bull market, there it just can't be all bulls. Like there gotta be some yeah, percentage true. of the people not true. going, not making. Well, it, you know? the, the the beast is got is going to fight back. The beast is going to bite back somehow, right? You know, sooner or later, the beast, the government, the the fucking people in control, they're right. going to fucking try to bite back. You know, I mean, not just gonna, yeah. in the cases of XRP, man, I felt like the government was protecting people, you know, like, because, oh, bro, bro that bro. like literally bro. it's like I don't mess with, you know, like we're not fans of government here in crypto. Let's just get that out there. But the reason why the SEC, the SEC is bringing in a lawsuit against XRP, it's for the protection of those investors. Like real talk is. It sucks because that's one of the reasons why so many people who've been in crypto so long and who studied XRP learn what it's about, watch the interviews. That's why they hate on it. I've been telling my whole fucking channel since it started the XRP <laughs> scam. It, I've only come off as a fucking <laughs> bitch ass hater that doesn't know Everybody what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Right. And here the government's telling you it's a fucking scam. So I I just I just wish I I want to get I want to get confession time with XRP investors. I want to be like yeah. let's get your cousin on. Let's get him on. Right. Let's get him on. Let's let's get him oh, on. Oh, he won't even text me right now. I sent him oh, the okay. document. I said to him the document. I said, "Hey, I'm not sending you this to gloat. I'm sending you this to save you money." Now, XRP's already down about 80 80% in the last 2 days, you know what I'm saying or something. It's been dipping. Um they they they're being they're being back. They're being challenged psychologically right now. Bro, they, yeah, they, they are they some can. of the most... Let me just... I'm going to give them this credit right here because <laughs> it's very funny. They are some of the most creative people I have ever seen in my life. They're some of the most delusional fucking... Un, like un, the un, way that un, they're... Like un, I had somebody tell me that, oh, this is the government trying to get everybody to dump before they turn the dollar into X. Wait, what? Yo, bro. 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 I think these the people need to be. Uh, they you? need to be on. They need to be like MTV Real World XRP uh, on. Like, you know, like, I would not watch that, bro. <laughs> I, I would so watch them. They'll destroy <laughs> themselves, bro. I would not they'll destroy that, themselves. They'll go. They'll go. Have fun, you know. Like, dude, I would, I would so fucking put XRP that. people. I want to. I want to do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I want to observe them like animals at a zoo. <laughs> no, and they all think it's about the security. XRP is not security. Okay, forget the fact that it's a security. They're actually going after these fools. Like, hey, you guys are siphoning off money. You guys were manipulating price. Like, dude, it was like, I got to about line 100. And then it just reiterated in my mind, like, man, fuck XRP. Like, <laughs> for real, man. I was like, for real? This is what they're doing, bro? They really just doing that to their investors. And to have an army like that, bro. Like, you got some pretty solid loyal people i will say that that's what i will say they're loyal stupidly loyal but they're loyal yeah i mean people i saw crypto twitter's like where's this money gonna go to right snx btc where else is where where's the xrp money gonna go to right another dumb investment like where do you think the money's going to probably right? flare network <laughs> what don't even get don't even sound <laughs> i don't even want to you know, uh, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Right, right. I don't want to hear any other fucking bullshit centralized scam, okay? Yeah. You know, I mean, I people even are even saying, like, oh, that Flare Network pump that XRP just had was all orchestrated. Like, well, duh. Bro, if Hex blows up, I don't know what I'm going to do. What you mean? What, what, what's, what's going if on? All this mo- if, all this money go- if all this money goes into Hex... I need to be prepared for this. Oh, you said <laughs> you said you mean if if all these XRP people start going into Hex, <laughs> I need to profit off this. Instead of hating them, let me just make my money off of them. Let me th- let me join oh, the Hex e- the, the Hex ETH pool. You know, uh, let me join man. the Hex ETH pool. Let me get paid off these motherfuckers. Hex, man, uh, what happened to Hex? You know, they had their little event. Right. What's now? What's now? What's next? Not, they nothing. Hex never happened, bro. It was it was all an illusion, bro. That shit's. I, that's part of the game, and I should just accept that. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm having a hard I did time already. I accepted it, bro, because I got into, like, the trader mindset of, like, hey, they're all assets. So this whole market runs on speculation, bro. And I had to admit to myself that sometimes that speculation, whether it's good or not, can I could profit off of that. 
Like if I see something that everybody's talking about it and it sounds like the stupidest idea in the world, but you got people like diehards, like I'm throwing 50,000 in tomorrow. I'm buying another 50,000 tonight. And you know, bro, just like with XRP, I was telling people, I don't like it, but it's going to pump. So when that flare network thing happened, I was like, it's going to pump, you know, I told everybody once it pumps, take your profit. But of course, some people didn't listen. So XRP, it's RIP. I, I can't wait for all the memes. I can't R. wait R. to I. meme P. this shit. R. I mean, bro, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be talking so much shit about XRP. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna meme the fucking shit. Yeah, I, I don't even. I can't even tell you how much fun I'm about to have. Man, and people I don't think it's tell. possible. They're like XRP is a billion dollar company. I'm like, you know how many. Uh, really really big expensive you know crypto companies and protocols actually had issues exchanges etc you know don't think that having money is nothing the more money you got like bitconnect had like three how many like was it like over yeah like they they try to use money as a legitifier it's like right uh, have you heard of bernie madoff right Uh, have you heard of enron (laughs) right have you heard of the federal reserve have you heard of theranos that's the most recent one Oh yeah, th- uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Thera, yeah, with the chick, right? Yeah, with the chick who was just fooling everybody. Yeah, yeah she was yeah, on the Silicon Valley. Money. She was in the Silicon Valley, stacking up billions on on nothing. For real. So yeah, people don't really uh, understand that. Like this ain't this ain't a good look at all. As far as it being bad for all the crypto market, I don't think so. Uh no 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 we'll we'll shake this it's just fleas bro it's just fleas. Right. We, we shake this shit off like fleas bro you know get, just give it a little bit of time so yeah. um man here's the, here here is some some worrisome shit though here is some shit that is actually legitimately worrisome mm-hmm. fucking ledger hack bro get into it get into that it. ledger hack I uh, I am a ledger owner I'm a ledger well, owner as well so. Um, uh-huh. the only, th- not, not that I'm like, Hey, I'm lucky, but it's just that I, I got my ledger in 2017. They said this hack was like, what, in 2019, the data came from like 2019 or something like that. Yeah. And from like, and beyond like 2000. So, and then I, I, I don't have the same number or address at all in any way. And I don't really have carry do for me. Just, I'm, I'm gonna hear your side, but here's the thing. I actually quit using my ledger. Mm. I actually quit using my ledger. I am no longer going to use my ledger. Not because of the ledger hack, because that has nothing to do with the crypto. The crypto is still good. That's just essential. What happened with the centralized database, mm-hmm. that, was, that was the problem with the ledger. Right. You know that, right? Yeah. Right? right? Right. So I actually am not using my ledger because it is too much of a headache. I have what do you mean? Get, I, I can't just get use any USB cord. I have to use a very oh, specific cord. Oh, you have to use cord, a very and specific I don't, And I don't ledger. even know which one, which one that is, right? And then... Uh, I have, I have a Linux. I have to always install. Like, dude, it's oh, like 20 steps, Linux, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's 20 steps to get my money off, and it's just too inconvenient. Mm. That's why I'm no longer using it. It's inconvenient, and now I don't respect the brand. So, right. But right. it still works for what it does, you know? Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Like, I have a ledger, and the only thing on my ledger is, like, stuff that I don't ever touch, which is not a lot. I actually got a new hardware wallet. Um, what you call it? A company, which one? The Safe Pal. Okay, yeah. I never heard of them. They actually uh, contacted me to to check out their wallets, and um, it's a company that's actually they got a bunch of investors, and um, it's one of the companies that likes trying to that Binance is in trying to invest in to do um, to have it connect to their smart chain. But um, you you recommend it? Yeah, I like it. I like the fact that like you can do everything on the wallet, like the cameras on the wallet, so you can take a picture of QR codes and stuff like that. So it's like with the other ledger, you like you say you gotta plug it in, and and do all this extra with this one. You can kind of uh. you can kind of validate your stuff right there and scan it. You know, there's a, a little camera on it and everything. It has a nice little screen. You know, about five buttons on it. You know, with the ledger, you got like two buttons. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know so and, yeah, and, I, and I like the fact that it's inexpensive. Okay. You know, so okay. when I talked to the um to the development team, they said that, you know, they worked really hard on trying to keep it at like a cool price point. All right, you got to send me a link. Put the post a link. Start shilling, bro. Start shilling. 
So yeah, <clears throat> the, uh, but the people that are affected by the hack, man, that's some scary shit. Because you already know the wolves are out, bro. Well, can you wolves, okay, let it, let's uh, let's explain the hack to people for a second who don't you know who don't really know what exactly okay. happened. So for those of you who don't know, Ledger uh, is is a, produces a cryptocurrency at cold wallets, and as far as we know, they're the, one of the most secure forms of holding your cryptocurrency. Mm-hmm. So um, Ledger was unknowingly collecting addresses. Well, they have to take your address to ship you, right. but they were actually storing the data of a user's addresses and who got shipped crypto wallets. And I guess to probably resell to advertisers or whatnot. Well, that got stolen Mm -hmm. by hackers. And it happened a few months ago and they really tried to downplay it as if it was only a small number of people or say there were like only Mm 9,000. But this information was being sold on the dark web for uh, over a million dollars worth of Bitcoin and stuff. So it eventually came out that after a while, like once everybody used, once everybody used the bitch, <laughs> she gets tossed out. So everybody's right. like, so uh, all that information, just someone just tossed it out for free on a, right. on a hacker form and yeah. just like, fuck it, we're done with this. <laughs> yeah. We got everything so everybody's <laughs> Everybody's address and phone numbers mm-hmm. now, I've been telling people about this for a minute since it first happened because I've been getting text messages um, for, I would say, up to two months now, bro. Damn. Um, up to two months now. And, and when I first got the message, it said, hey, this is a Ledger team. Ledger has been compromised. You have to log in to make sure this and that. Now, I actually went to it. And then as soon as it said, upload your private keys, I was like, nah, I'm cool. Like, <laughs> you know, like... Yeah. I don't care what happened over there. As long as I got my private key, I'm pretty sure that nobody's getting in my ledger, you know. But, um, yeah, you know, it, it's basically they're doing a whole bunch of phishing and, and stuff like that. But Yeah, and then, obviously, so the phishing is, yeah, that's, that's going to catch, you're going to catch a few people with the phishing. Let's not, be, you know, let's, yeah, I mean, you're going to catch I mean, if you click on all these phishing links, you see each and every one of them got to at least, like, 30K in there. You're like, bro, like, that's... It's scammed money right there, you know? Damn, you know, the be like I said, the wolves are that's meat, bro. So and and then you get people are already saying it's gonna be physical attacks, physical right. threats. So that's and the that's, next thing. Yeah. So you had people who, you know, people were getting emails and text messages saying, Hey, I got your address. You live here at such and such and such and such. Your phone number is this and this and that. You know, your your zip code is this and this and that. We know you got a ledger. We know you got some Bitcoin. You better send us all your Bitcoin and we're going to run up in your house and kill your kids. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's basically what's happening to people because of the ledger hack. And ledger's over here like, oh, yeah, just some data got lost. You know, um, it's cool. We, we're, we, we stopped it now. We know now. So it's good. Yeah. It, it's nasty. It's just, it's, and that, and it's, so it's like, the irony of it is that they're supposed to be a crypto security company, but right. now they just then compromised everybody for owning crypto <laughs> from their security. Like, Facts. you know, it's like, yeah. that's the irony part, man. So, so my heart goes out and blessings and prayers goes out to, to people that, you know, hopefully nothing, nothing too, too wrong goes, goes yeah, I don't bad. Want too drastic you know? going on. And, and, you it's, know, it, if you have a ledger, don't respond to those texts and those emails and, you know, you might even start getting letters in the mail. You know, everybody has the information. You know what I'm saying? Check out one of those dark web, like, sweeps and see if you can get your information, you know, uh, you protected know. or whatever. You know. So, speaking so, of irony, I want I just remember something right now. Irony, how about the uh, CEO of Nexus? Yeah, we got to talk about you know, that, losing, man. losing a bunch of those Damn. nexus tokens. Like, how do you know? What, it, what do you do when the insurance company gets scammed or hacked? You know. Well, it, it wasn't Nexus Mutual. Yeah, yeah, it was the it was the owner, but it, it was, was his. It was his. Yes, it was for the tokens, but it was through his own personal account. Right. So they didn't hack the smart contracts or anything. He yeah, yeah, yeah. ended up getting some uh, some type of a remote access kind of virus shut down his computer and injected a new form of MetaMask 
and uh, he logged into the MetaMask. It, he he could have he could have checked the address of the transaction that he was sending into, mm -hmm. but he assumed that it was the one he was you trying to use. Right. And then yeah, he got um, manipulated sending I don't know what eight hundred thousand dollars or something. Was it eight million or something? Yeah, it was in the millions. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I know it was in the millions. I was like, sheesh. Yeah, man. Yeah. So I was reading on that, uh, how to verify you got the correct MetaMask and whatnot. Um, that kind of makes him look like a dumbass, though. I hate yeah. to say it. That, That's hey. the thing. That, that makes him look like a dumbass. It's, uh, and, don't lie. And, I literally yeah. started looking up and looking more into, like, cover, you know, and some of the... <laughs> Some of the other protocols yeah. out there because yeah, that's I mean, but you know what? It, to it, keep it honest with you, if you've been into crypto for a cool minute and you work with it every day, you do start to get kind of relaxed, you know. So I encourage people stay up on that security. You know, because if you do it every day, you might just log in like normal and, and click a the wrong address or something, you know, and, yeah. and not even know. And I think that's probably what more along the lines it was kind of just being a little careless. The, the the thing about it that you one of the well they so that kind of just is kind of like whoop the kind of right, thing right yeah and you know but the unique thing about the whole situation it was the first crypto hacker negotiation they mm. were negotiating through yeah they were negotiating through smart contracts uh, because at the at, well at the, no if you go on ether scan you look at the contract or you look at any address there's a there's a uh if you click see more there's a description box. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can leave comments. Memos, yeah. yeah, memos in that description box. So they were they were negotiating about uh, you know sending the money back. Well, he, the hacker's like, no, you got to send me this money on the ETH, send it back. I don't know, like literally. Yeah. So it was the first like crypto hacker negotiation going down. I don't know how exactly how it was still going down, but that there's messages of the hackers like, all right, well, you know, what's up? Like, you know, and, yeah. and then he's like sending the hacker this, no, no. And he's like, it's like, no, no, no. We're not going to do it your way. We're going to do it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm the fucking hacker, bro. Like, right. Like I'm the, I got yeah. your money. Right? Like, <laughs> you know, so, and, and it's like, they're negotiating on how, you know, what, how should they handle it? <laughs> bro, it, it, it honestly, I, I trip off some of these projects where they're like, they go out and they reach out to the hackers like, hey, um, we know you hacked us for about, you know, five million dollars, but just send us the money back. Oh. And we'll send you a oh. you know, we'll send you a bounty of like five hundred thousand, you know, and right. I'm surprised that it actually happens so much. No, check this out. You heard about the meme where uh, I don't know what protocol got hacked. I forgot which one. Mm -hmm. But somebody, the, uh, a, a mom or somebody wrote to the hacker, I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. I have like a three-year-old kid. Yeah. You just you stole all my money. Can you please give it back? And the hacker sent the money back to her. Oh, so you sent her came, money back? Yeah, oh, dude. So they like, they're so like, oh, hacker's got a like, heart. <laughs> dude, no, everybody's like, fuck this shit. All I have to do is pretend to be a nurse. Fuck this shit. So everybody started memeing like, yo, I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. Give <laughs> my money back. <laughs> you know? funny. Yeah, man. It's like, yo, crypto's crazy, bro. People steal the money, give millions back onto someone else, so they get. Right. I forgot who was it. Who was it that rug pulled? And this little DeFi pool we have right now, somebody rug pulled it, and they end up saying, you know, I'm gonna give the money, or I'm gonna give. Uh, oh, Chef Nomi, didn't he say? He didn't he yeah, say, I'm, Chef, I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna keep a million, and y'all take the rest. No, no, no. He took, uh, he took thirteen, fourteen million, and then got guilt tripped so hard, and then gave it back. And then the community's trying to raise him a couple million to be, I don't know. I, yeah, it's all so ironic. But yeah, he stole the money and then felt guilty and gave it back. Yeah. Right? And then crazy. you got the eminence. You got eminence tax where they steal like 10 grand and then give two to Andre and say, yep, blame it oh, on yeah. you. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sorry, this, bro. Shit is a, this shit is a fucking cartoon, bro. Right. This shit is a fucking cartoon, man. Man. We need to so do something like, so I know. Crypto could be a soap opera at times. It's just crazy. So you don't know, man. Eventually, you're gonna you're you're gonna take a you're gonna take a bullet, man, to to your portfolio. I'm gonna say that again. If Everybody. you're in this crypto game, mm -hmm. and not, even if you are a smart investor, even if you did your due diligence, even if you did a risk management, something's gonna happen. The water's mm -hmm. gonna get shaky. You're gonna go through a storm. Your your portfolio may take a bullet or two, bro. Mm -hmm. You know. 
and you're just gonna have to figure out how to how to how to move forward than that you know you weren't expecting that shit to drop two grand all of a sudden due to some mm-hmm. bullshit, like some bullshit, bullshit. Yeah, I, there's really right? literally been like some bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> you know? Where it could be so, literally like some FUD makes you lose 50% of your portfolio. It wasn't even true. Yeah, and the People shit bounces back in like two days, right? And right. The shit bounces back in two days, but right. you freaked out and sold, right? Like, so um, how do you know? How do you know? Well, you, you keep listening to experienced investors like us, okay? You know, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you, you know, we, I like the term is economic shocks. How do you absorb these economic shocks, mm-hmm. right? And one of, the, one of the tips is to, first of all, diversify your DeFi protocols, mm-hmm. right? Don't have all your ETH and fucking compound, right? Diversify so, you know, is probably the best thing that you could do, diversify diversify well in and in, in diversify in your liquidity pools diversify in your DeFi coins because all that, not every coin is going to work so these DeFi index coins such as pipt and dpi they don't rise in value unless the underlying tokens rise in value mm-hmm. and then the, the way they're minted is you have to back so this, you have to understand the tokenomics and the dynamics to so like why isn't that price going up like i thought it would well it's not exactly really meant to or there's certain different circumstances it has to you know th- that would facilitate it going up such as index tokens they don't really just work like go up like that like yeah. it's the underlying tokens <clears throat> that that rise in value which raises the index of the token so right. there's a lot a lot of these little things that um you need to be aware of about you know such as amp, a rebase token you're not if you own a rebase token or you don't know oh, i bought it bait you know all this stuff because people are memeing it and then you're like wait what the fuck why do i have less in my wallet like what and is when, going on you know what i didn't understand ample because i somebody said get some ample it's going to five dollars i said what when i looked i looked at it and the first thing i saw was it's a stable coin <laughs> like well no it's not a stable uh, coin that's 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 well, the, the, and then this the elastic it, supply coin. Its goal it, is it, trying to be stable at a dollar, right? Well, not, yes and no. That's the whole thing. Yes and no. It wants to be a stable coin, but it doesn't actually have to be a stable coin. So it's you can't really call it a stable coin because it can trade at ten and twenty dollars. It can, it can. Yeah, that's what somebody and, told me. And then the, yeah. the power of the protocol gets higher. You know the. But the every, but yeah, no. Even if it trades, but everybody gets more. Here's the here's the best way to put it. It acts like a fiat currency if it's above one dollar and nine cents. It acts like a Bitcoin currency if it's below one dollar and nine cents. That's the easiest way to put it. Okay. So it acts like it in what ways? So it, it acts like a fiat currency means it more gets it printed. Everybody gets distributed more if it's above a dollar. Oh, okay. Okay. I see what you're saying. Because yeah, the market yeah. cap, so you're not getting diluted. Right. So everybody gets more at the same time. So mm-hmm. you're not getting diluted as more people buy in. Right. Right. But it acts like a Bitcoin deflationary currency because um, everybody loses everybody loses um, the ample to push the price back up to to raise the value. So it's yeah. taking it's taking the supply and uh, really limiting it dramatically, like Bitcoin, where it's just only twenty one million. So it pushes the price back up if everybody gets taken out. So that's the weird thing. It acts like an inflationary currency above a dollar. It kind of acts like a deflationary currency below a dollar. Right. Hence the elastic supply. And that only opened up the gates, the Pandora's box to so many rebase tokens. And, you know, and it's really creative where the, where the industry is going. But Ample is one of the few coins, in my opinion, next to die that I actually see being used as a real world currency. Really? really? On, you really on, think so? I, I think it has a better chance than die. I can't see it. Be, be, yeah, oh, I can't uh, see yeah. die. I can't see die. I mean, I I see the usage for die, but as far as like actually being a currency, currency, I think it'll be more used as like what it is right now. It's kind of more like a collateral, um, use more like a collateral well, token rather than. Well, here's anything. the thing though, die is actually more more valuable than U.S. dollar because it's actually collateralized. Die is represent die is a debt token. It yeah. represents a debt that you you collateralize, so you, you can actually redeem your die for the underlying assets yeah so you can't do that with the u.s dollar bro you can't there's nothing back in it there's nothing but there's backing die die represents a debt dollar to make your dial essentially 
and so that's what makes it to me like yo it, it actually is could be a decentral, like a the true decentralized dollar but if yeah. it's pegged to the u.s dollar it doesn't have to be pegged to the u.s dollar it can that's be pegged my whole to thing it's still kind well, of pegged to the no the, the, the community the can vote for it the community can vote for it to be pegged to um anything it wants to be to be honest really yeah I somebody gotta write up. up that proposal man well right now it's just that's the easiest because it's the one pillar you got to understand out of the one pillar pillar holding everything together in DeFi, it, it actually is DAI. Mm -hmm. It actually is DAI. Everything maker, is really- Maker and it, Nobody really understands. Like people it, don't it's, overlook it. Yeah. Like it's nothing, you know, but I'm like, that governance of DAI is, is big, bro. It's, it is very, very crucial. Mm -hmm. It is very crucial. Because yeah, that shit is not on time. the- oh. Yeah. Uh, if that shit is not pegged to the, if that shit's off a dollar or like, uh, you know, if it's off the peg, that's, that's money coming out of makers pockets, the, the, uh, the maker holders. Yeah. They want that shit on the peg as much as possible. So if that shit's off the peg, that comes out of their pockets. Yeah. That's the whole, that's what the whole governance, like you guys better get this right. Otherwise you pay the price for not mm -hmm. getting it right as a, a decentralized autonomous community. And that means you, your, your money's going down the drain. So yeah, it actually they, happened, they, yeah. Yeah, they make money as if DAI stays on the peg. If they lose money, if DAI goes off the peg. If that's just the general gist of it at a high level. Is So they're incentivized to actually to really actually look at, yeah, to, to really work for going, it. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. To keep this shit really uh, sustainable. And they've already fucked up with the Black Swan event. Like, heavy, heavy. So, yeah, that was, that uh, was a nice, a nice, like, little warning right there like <laughs> this shit can go bad you know so this is the level of the game if you really want to get involved and here's the for the people who who street niggas i'm gonna just put it like this is for people who just really kind of lost in the war right now yo there's whole crypto industries and communities you can get involved in and admit you can just straight from your house you can be involved in different communities and vote on different things and actually really start learning how governance actually works, mm -hmm. right? And like, you could really be like part of a crypto board member, uh, international, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, participate, go go vote on comp governance. Go vote on cream governance, go vote on Avi, go vote on Uni, go vote on Index, go vote. I'm telling you, I spend a good chunk of my time going through proposals. Mm -hmm. and, if, and, and if I don't understand the proposal, I take a few days to go ask more people how they feel about the proposal. And what do those words mean? I have to go go on Investopedia just to look at some of these words when I'm looking at DPI and, you know, uh, looking at these different terms. And that's Oh, Investopedia is my best friend. Investopedia that's is That's what you do, sure. bro. Uh -huh. That's what you do. Here, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, this is not a secret. This is how I get to the level I'm at. I read a lot. Mm -hmm. I read a lot. And I'm telling you, I ask so many questions. Mm-hmm. I ask questions. What does that mean? Why would I invest it? I don't care how stupid the question is. I ask it. And I'm telling you, I get it some back and forth comments with people. You know, yeah. other types of people are like, yo, I get it. I feel you. That's what I thought when I first got in. Right. What is vesting? Yeah, why is it? Exactly. Why? I thought I was able to withdraw my money. No, mm -hmm. it's vested, bro. What is, what is vesting? It's 10 weeks vested. Well, but why, why is it vested? Well, it's vested so you don't just dump all your coins on the market. You don't just claim them all at once and dump them. If everybody did that, it'll drive down the per currency. So you, you get money released every 10 weeks. So, mm -hmm. you know, da 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 So that you, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, so these are all the questions you got to ask, you know? And don't be, well, many, too, many people are too afraid to ask. Because why? It's not they're too, they're too afraid to ask. They're too afraid to ask because they're too afraid to feel stupid for not knowing. Right. And that's how you stay stupid. That's how right. you stay stupid, you know? You know? So I don't want to go well, that, that. Well, that and some, you know, what I've been seeing a lot of, and I'll tell you, like, with a couple, like, mentees that I've been, you know, talking to, they don't know what questions to ask. So a lot of people are in this thing and they're like, okay, I bought some coins. I bought some of this and I bought some of that. Okay. What do I do now? And, you know, exactly. I'm going I'm to I'm quote another YouTuber because I felt like it was one of the smartest shits I've ever heard. But, um, you know, crypto, crypto Kinsey at crypto and culture, he said, you know, and I'm sure you could agree with this. He said, one of the most important ways that you're going to be successful in DeFi or in cryptocurrency and in general is experimenting. 
Oh, bro. Experimentation. Yeah. Doing the actual crypto, like doing the protocol, participating in governments, playing the games, you know, like checking out the platforms, seeing okay. how it works, all that. Yeah, if you if 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 all else fails, if you don't know what to do, fucking start learning Python, learn JavaScript, like, and you know right. everybody knows that, like, oh yeah, Ooh, that whole thing. Oh, let me just uh, pretend like you know, because they already know that that's the next level. It's like, yo, I gotta kind of learn a programming language, fuck, mm -hmm. you know, and so that's the next thing. Just go for it, and I'm telling you, in a year's time. You know, it'll just be another skill on your belt. Like, you know, you realize it's not that hard. It's just another skill on your belt. Yeah, and so um, that's all I can say is take, take, I encourage everyone to, I'm always going to push being a developer because we wouldn't have all these tools and stuff if it wasn't for developers. Oh, so yeah, I'll for sure. So i always push that. Push put, that your, uh, put your kids in developing classes. If you want your absolutely. kids to excel in life, put them in developing yeah. classes early. Right when he learned his ABT, teach him Python and JavaScript. That'll be dope. That it'll really pay off in the end. Yeah. And it, you know, and it's you know, and don't it stop get away from the stigma of being a nerd or or whatever because because that's just I don't even want to go down that. But yeah. Get that shit out yeah, of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm turning this shit gangster. I'm telling you, Crypto <laughs> Roots is turning this shit motherfucking stoner ass gangster nigga shit. That's what I'm I'm a fucking crypto gangster ass nigga stoner programmer i'm not i that's just the way i uh you know i i treat youtube as an entertainment channel yeah you know i don't treat I, I i yes you can get educated but who fucking wants to watch someone boring like you know <laughs> I, I don't i don't and i do all the time because that's how i learn programming so if i'm going to teach man i'm i i want i want to kick it I, I don't produce a video unless I, I I laugh at it. Like, right. I don't release it unless I'm like, yo, that shit's kind of funny, man. Right? Got to be having you know? fun with it, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I so I'm my own kind of not worst critic, but like I I make the videos to entertain myself. You know, I don't I don't want to be Kanye West in it, but sometimes I watch my videos and I'm like, that was funny. Like that was cool. <laughs> like you know, you know. So I, I try to be I try to use YouTube as an entertainment. And, and behind that, I disguise some, some disguise some education in there, you know, not the other way around, you know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, because I want I want people who 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 would not really think that this is for them to be like maybe this is for me, right? That's right. So, I mean, that's know. why I literally that's why on my channel I really just like I'm just being myself. You know what I mean? Because there's gonna be a lot of you know maybe there's gonna be somebody from the from the hood or there's gonna be somebody you know a minority or something like that and they don't have that many people you know in this game who look like them or sound like them or you know they say you know you go on most channels and you're like hello guys we're gonna show you the value yeah. of cryptocurrency and blockchain you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know when you click on our yeah. channel it's like what's up bitches um y'all want to yeah. learn some shit today like you know like, you know and 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 and, and, and subconsciously it's like Yo, these dudes are obviously getting paid. They obviously know what the fuck they're talking about, and they're obviously doing it while they're stoned. Maybe right. I can do that too, you know. So that's the um, thing when it comes down to like, you know, you're actually getting some value. You know, that's what what I really want for my videos. I know you you too. It's like, even if it's just one quote, by the time you're done watching a, a crypto roots video, you're gonna have at least one quote, a life quote or something. <laughs> you know, like. And all these quotes I get from reading, man. I, I can't even tell you, like, the right. reason, like, I, most of my shit's so unscripted and not that it had, you know, but it's, I read so much mm -hmm. that when I just start talking about something, every, like, the, the, all the things that I'm reading just coming out of my mouth. Like, Same here. Like, things that everything that I'm, with everything that I'm learning, yeah. yeah, everything that I'm learning starts flowing out yeah. and I'm like, okay, yeah. I had a, I had a lightweight script, but um, sure. I threw a bunch of other information yeah. in there, so I better enjoy that. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, but so you know, that's fun. Just have fun with it. I'm. Uh, here's 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 some uh, heaven 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 on earth airdrop shit. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the mask airdrop from Meta Mask. You think not you that, think that's that, coming, bro? If they you really know, about if they really with the shits, if they really want a happy ass customer base, they better drop that shit. They well, better drop mask token. Like okay, look. Like, if you're and what would qualify, you better just have to use MetaMask. You just have to use it once. My right. whole thing is this. MetaMask, the creators of MetaMask, is, are they uh, centralized? 
Yeah, hell yeah, they are. Okay, so, so why if you're made in mask and you're centralized and everybody's using your your thing and nobody really don't, bro, talks about don't, how you're not decentralized? Don't don't ask me, man. Yeah, I'm like, waiting for my mask. <laughs> I deserve it. It's, I want my yeah, free money for, for using for made mask. I don't give a shit how it comes. I want to get that shit like the uni, and I want to dump half of it. Mm-hmm. Right? You know that's what I'm saying? Rule. That's the. Hey, that's my new. <laughs> that's my new airdrop rule. Dump half. Experiment with the rest. That's well, the, yeah, I'm dump half. Fill the rest in the liquidity pool. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. My, experiment that's the secret. liquidity pool. <laughs> sometimes it's an NFT pool. Sometimes. Oh yeah, sometimes. It's sometimes NFT, it's something sure. else. You know. Yeah. But you know, experiment with the rest and th- with the rest, and then you know, ex- enjoy your other free money. Um, you know, I got more. I got more uh, stimulus money out of DeFi this year than I. Yo, did. are we getting the so, stimulus, bro? Um, yeah, no, it's the, Trump it's, denied it. It's he coming. Well, it. Trump wanted it to be more, and, yeah. and uh, what you call it? I believe Nancy is is down for it. So I think we're gonna. We're the thing about it is this: we need it. It's coming for sure. It's just right now they're just debating on the numbers because, you know, a lot of that, I think $600, $100 billion of that money was flowing into our, our offshore, you know, our Bro. offshore businesses. So they were like, nah, nah, nah. Bro, that thing. shit is crazy. Yeah, that's why I literally, that was one of the only things I ever agreed with Trump on was like, yo, bro, we can't be sending all this money offshore if, if we need the stimulus. You know what I'm For real, bro. Like, I'm not. I'm not pro any government, but damn. Me neither. Yeah, well, me neither. Trump, but like, you know, I live yeah. here, so I'm just one. I just wanted to be I mean, for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in my opinion, Trump just say, just give the peasants a few more crumbs. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, you know? Really? You know? Hey, they just hey, give them a few more crumbs. <laughs> He's like, I need some more people on the side so I can try to get this trial going. <laughs> Man, if he wanted to be OG, he should have pardoned Julian Desage. He should have pardoned Edward Snowden. Bro, he I don't know if he did, him. but he pardoned like 20-something people today. Bruh, some fucking criminals, though, bro. Yeah, he pardoned it's like fucking cr- people. He's going out. Like, going out criminal with Criminal buddies. Shebang, Mafioso. shebang. <laughs> fucking criminal. Republican criminal buddies, bro. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, it's okay. You fucking killed a bunch of Iraqi people. You got arrested for it. It's all good, bro. It's all good. You know what? You know? Did you learn your lesson for those war crimes? You're good. You're good. Yeah. Get him yeah. good. Like, you know what? Go go out there and commit more. Go out there and commit. It's been better. <laughs> hey, but um, by the way, um, you need a job. <laughs> <laughs> for real. That's what's really for going real. on right now. Like I need your expertise. What would have been? What would really? What what would really set 2020 off if he pardoned uh, Joe Exotic? That shit oh, would have been some shit. Bro, that would run have been it. Some shit. Send it. Bro, bro, if he pardoned Joe Exotic, bro, I, I would have been upset. Like, I bro, you want to make you want to make Joe Exotic supported. coin? You want to make Joe <laughs> Exotic coin? That shit will get a small community, bro. We Joe get at least ten thousand people uh, worldwide. We get a, we get a Joe Exotic coin, bro. That's Joe I Exotic. mean, if we gonna do that, we gotta get Joe involved. We need Joe. Bro, I do, go down I, to the prison and holla at Joe. I I do not respect the way he treated those animals, uh, at least from what I know. Yeah. Uh, you know. But right. it's 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 his his mis, mystique mythos. It's, it's everybody just wants to see the crazy man get away with more crazy shit. You know. <laughs> that's, I that's mean, what it was man. what it was with with Joe Exotic was you had a worser evil in Carol Baskin. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was the was one worse. thing. That she was, was the worst. That's the main thing. It's like okay, he's bad, but no, <laughs> she really has him in cages and eating through a fence. Like yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know, Carol fucking Baskin. Carol we should make both those coins. Karen fucking Baskin <laughs> coin, and uh, Joe 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 Exotic. Oh man, I, I want yo. We need a meme department. Yo, if you listen yeah, to this, jo- holla at us. We want we're gonna start paying. We're gonna start shooting. We want we want to do this shit uh, more professionalist. We we want to make some t-shirts. We want to kind of get the community going and get you guys involved in this podcast. Yeah, uh, definitely. You know. And yeah, it, we want to start getting the uh, the call thing set up so we can have people call yeah. and chime in and yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah and, and, and we're gonna have talk shit on. Just go ahead and talk some shit. You yeah. don't like crypto roots. You don't you don't like my face, my teeth. Go ahead. You know we're gonna have right. those times too. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Just bring it you on, know? man. That's what we're here for. Let's have some fun. Yeah, we gotta figure that shit out. Um, and what else? I'm waiting for Gecko to drop from Coin Gecko. I'm waiting for that airdrop. 
Oh, I've been collect. I've been. Wait, hold on. Well, I heard about this. Where's this rumor coming from? Is it just? Is it I don't know. I made it or, up. Or? I made, no, I made no, it up. I saw, it's you're not the only up. one, bro. I saw somebody else post it, bro. Bro, I've been collecting candies, bro. And if they airdrop based on how much candies we collect, bro, I got thousands of candies, bro. I'm a drug addict to this shit, bro. Yeah, tell, I'm a drug. I'm a, what you talking about? Yeah, candy? you don't ever go to Coin Gecko, collect your candies, man. You get free swag, bro. You get candies you get every day or what? Bro, you get multipliers every day, man. You sleeping on the game, bro. Because uh, I do have an account. Yeah. I just don't be uh, on there. You got to Well, if you collect those candies, you get free swag. Oh, free, okay, free okay. that's yeah, cool. Free, you got free oh, audio yeah, swag. Some, you know, some, they're, 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 uh, they're, some they're giving out a PS5. Swag? They're giving out a PS5 for Christmas raffle. Nice. On Gecko. So, but I'm waiting for them to launch a DAO and drop Gecko, bro. I'm yeah. waiting. You think they're I'm gonna waiting. go down? That, I mean, if they go bro, down, that's that's way yeah, better dude, than Coin Market Cap. If, if they go down and the DAO gets to control or govern fucking the Coin Gecko site, like you know, and if somehow were to make money revenue, like. Gecko coin would fucking pop the fuck off, bro. Yeah, that's the thing, man. I'm I'm kind of weary about just. I need the coin to actually be utilities wise. Nah, you man. I mean? Like, give me this crypto, bro. Give me that. This is crypto. Hey, man, you can't listen to roots, man. I mean, no, I'll <laughs> take I'll take that drop. I'll take that. I'll take that airdrop. But like I said, if I don't, if I got no utility, you know what I mean? Like, you can send me some XRP right now. I'll sell it. You know, but I ain't no utility for me. The, yeah, so that now that you mentioned that, there's got to be, not there has to be, but leave some room in your portfolio for your fucking uh, 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 magic, car- magic carpet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to go you're just for like, your... Where, where you just like, you know what? This ain't, this ain't shit. Nobody's into this, but maybe one day. Maybe one day, like a lot, you yeah, know, get like you yo, get you your yeah. 500 k yeah. market cap gym yeah, that like you it. think is just a gym and copy. Everybody, you know, everybody, everybody needs those. Everybody needs a couple. Those. Just, Every, no, I'm I, I'm gonna call them wish upon a stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call them wish you know, tokens. Everybody, need, yeah, everybody wish, needs a couple wish uh, tokens. Man, I you know I wish this you know. So for me, that's garlic coin. I always I believe garlic, garlic coin, coin will go. Garlic. You never heard of garlic coin, bro? It's a nah. cryptocurrency for garlic bread, bro. It's been around since 2017, like, bro. What? It's, yeah, it's a meme coin. It's one of the first meme coins. It's, okay, a, it's okay. a real, yeah, a cryptocurrency for garlic bread. They got their own blockchain. I mine, I, I've been mining garlic coin for years, bro. Sick. <laughs> coin, coin, yeah, look up coin, garlic coin, man. Oh, that shit is like that half, out. less than two, less than, not even half a penny or something shit. But yo, it's got a serious community, serious developers. They got their own blockchain. They got it's one of the easiest miners to set up. Like, yeah. and um, it's it's got a meme community, been dedicated for a long time. They all believe. Is, is it proof of work? Yeah, totally. Shot, shots are fifty six. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. They have the, or um, script or something else. Alu aluum aluum. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's called. They got their own. Um, and it's it, it's a uh, uh, CPU uh, friendly. So oh, they, okay. they're under, yeah, they, it's one of the few. And next to Monero, you can mine garlic coin on your laptop. That's the dope thing. Mm, so it's okay. very beginner friendly. Yeah. And they got their own blockchain. Uh, so, and yeah, garlic coin, cryptocurrency for garlic bread. So it's all about garlic, garlic memes. Oh, nice. That's funny. Yeah. So I fuck with that. And why Tesla? I believe one day. Why Tesla pumped to $8, bro? Why Tesla? So why Tesla? You know, it's a meme coin. It's a synthetic rebase token of Tesla, bro. Come on, man. I told you, I got hella alpha, bro. <laughs> I got hella. Alpha. We need to start a private hella alpha group because I well, got to call alpha. it hella, hella alpha group, bro. Bro, I got hella alpha, man. Yeah. You know? A lot of shit I just keep to myself, but I drop it every now and then because you know it's got. Yeah, be you know, fun. every every now and then you gotta you know feel so, a little, feel a little generous and. Throw some things out. Yeah, so I'm a I'm gonna be a Y Tesla well pretty soon, man. Um, nice. Cause that shit, yeah, yeah. You check that out. Tesla, let me see. Yeah, check out Dig. Y Dig's Tesla. about to drop, bro. Dig's about to drop pretty soon from Badger Dow. That's a rebase token for Bitcoin. So it's like an ample for Bitcoin. That's the dope thing about Dig. Mm. Instead of being okay. pegged to the to the to the 2019 purchasing power, the U.S. dollar, which is ample. It's yeah. going to be pegged to Bitcoin. So it's going to be a rebase token on Bitcoin. That'll be sick. Mm, okay. Bullish. 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 Nice. A lot, a lot, not a lot of bullish things going on right now. You know that 
uh, I don't know if you heard of Kira, Kira staking on um, on polka dot. You know, they got that 300% APY right now. It's been looking lovely. Price is holding up and everything. So if you're, right. if you're into liquidity mining, you know, that's a legit one that the token is still, you know, in the early stages. You know, it, it just got listed on BitMax not too long ago, but the you know, it's on it's in the early stages and could do some things. But that reward ain't gonna last forever, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. So you, that's why you gotta be that's why you gotta just be in early and and you know. You gotta holler at us for the mentorship. Holler at your boy Crypto Roots at Crypto Roots at Proton Mail. I got a private crypto chat group group coming out with roots tokens already out. So holler at me if you, you need some, you know, Ethereum domain name. I got you. What you got for him, Jay? Yeah, I got my uh, private Telegram group. If you want to get up in there, holla at me. You know, you can holla at me at everythingcurrencycrypto.com. I got NFTs on there. Got a bunch of other stuff coming real soon. Got, um, you know, the mentorships for sure. You know, that's been that's been pretty rewarding. I don't know how you like doing mentorships, but like for me, it's like in the beginning, you always kind of like, oh, man, like, come on, this is easy. Just get it. You know, but when you see somebody like make their first little, uh, when they get their first win in crypto, you know what I mean? You see, like, yeah. you hear people's voice light up and they're just like, yo, like, for real? You know, like, yeah, man, that, that's that been pretty dope and pretty rewarding. So, um, holla at your boy for that. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's it for now. I got the merch coming soon. You know, got some cool, some cool, fun merch coming soon. So, like, be on the lookout for that, too. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, let people know the Elon Marley podcast, Crypto Roots, Everything Currency. And thank you guys for listening. We appreciate it. Smoke one. Appreciate it. Till next time. Peace out. Peace.